Good evening, church. Time to get encouraged. This past week, I had the privilege of talking to a group about my experience immigrating to the United States. I spoke of the excitement as I, what I experienced as a seven-year-old coming to this new country. I believe it will, I believe it is somewhat of our experience when we are going to go to heaven. With all these funerals that we experienced here in the short period of time, it got me thinking about heaven. Funerals will do that to people. Ecclesiastes says, better to go to the house of mourning than to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men. The living will take it to heart. I would like to encourage everyone about the hope that we have of what is to come. Colossians 3 says, Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on the things above where Christ is. Seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. In preparation of coming to America, everyone was focusing on the day we would leave. I personally remember being so excited that we all couldn't wait until that departure date. Vadim, my brother, couldn't wait and decided to jump off the garage into the rose bushes with his cape, claiming he was flying to America. The reason we had so much hope in America was because of the family that we trusted already who made that journey and were able to tell us about America and what we could expect. But we can't do that with heaven. We can't ask our family and friends who already went there before us of what to expect. But we have Jesus. When Jesus was here on earth, he did everything he said he would do. Therefore, we can trust him when he tells us that he is going to prepare a place for us. Not only that, he gave us his Holy Spirit who testifies to our spirit. 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, No eye has seen, nor ear has heard, no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. As Christians who have the Holy Spirit, we have an amazing ability to hear the word. We have this amazing ability to hear his voice as revealed through his word, the Bible. Walking out of the gates and seeing all those smiles around us and hearing the word welcome. Then seeing our friends and family waiting eagerly for us. As Christians, we believe that Jesus will be the first to welcome us into his heavenly home. <laughs> Leaving the airport, we were in for a surprise. We pulled up to our very first restaurant, McDonald's. We said what we wanted, and voila! The food was ready for us at the next window. At that time, we thought the M stood for miracle food, manna. 
but we were a little disappointed. I'm sure without a doubt that the feast that we will have in heaven will exceed all of our expectations. The entire trip back, my face was glued to the window. I was in awe of the, of the beautiful, how beautiful everything was. The trees seemed greener, the grass seemed cleaner, the shiny cars like flowers with all their colors. Do you remember the movie Wizard of Oz? When the movie starts in black and white, and then it ends in a world of color. We're not in Kazakhstan anymore. We left our black and white TV. Even our, all our photos were in black and white. But now we were in a country full of color. I believe heaven will be an ultra reality. The world that we live in now will seem black and white in comparison. It will be a new heaven and a new earth, and we will have our new bodies. Doesn't that excite you? Sadly, during the morning service, we heard about a young man who believed in the Matrix movie so much that it ended up taking his life. He had a toxic faith, which was rooted in a made-up film from Hollywood. We have a faith rooted in Jesus Christ who promised us heaven, a place far better than this one. As I was preparing for this, I asked Elsa and Abby, yes, you guys, I asked them, what would be the first thing you want to see when you get to heaven? And what did Elsa say? She said, Jesus. And I was actually convicted because I spent so much time thinking of what heaven is going to be like and all the things we're going to see that I totally forgot about the main thing. And I said, God, I'm sorry. You are the focus that we should be focusing on. Our journey didn't end there. As a kid, I remember the friends and family taking care of us. I remember the community food bank. I remember toys for tots. They made Christmas so memorable. I remember the government allowing us to move into our own home, our own yard that had no fence. We were safe. And that's here in this life. Can you imagine what Jesus has for us in the next? It's going to be amazing. Actually, just right before church started, Grisha told me that my grandma is on her deathbed right now, and she's about to enter heaven. What a coincidence. She is in the process of entering to heaven. The confusing thing is, we didn't even deserve all the things we got in America. All we had to do was answer the call to come. Heaven is for those who are in Jesus. Hebrews eleven six 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If you haven't answered his calling, then today is the day of salvation. In conclusion, dear church, the departure is at hand, and we are closer now than we ever were to that glorious day. But for now, we are in the United States of America, placed here by God for a purpose. The kingdom of heaven is being built here and now, and we must not sit and wait. We must act and allow the Holy Spirit to work through us to share Jesus 
with the next generation so that they too may call him Lord. Amen. Let's pray.